Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This uh, quick tip video, we're going to discuss part of what's new for Flow Simulation 2014. Now, we've had a tool called the Leak Detection Tool uh, for a while, and in 2014, this tool has moved to the bottom of the screen. Uh, for example, here we have an internal flow project. Um, you know, I've got a couple of lids. We've got uh, the pink lid is going to be an inlet. The light blue lid will be an outlet. Um, but we have an opening here somewhere, and, and this is just very simple, um, very simple geometry to illustrate how the leak detection tool works. So um, the first thing you'll notice is in the lower right corner, uh, we get this non-watertight model. Now, as you probably know, um, an internal flow project has to be closed with lids, so all openings have to have a, a lid, a solid body that, that closes it so that flow can calculate the fluid volume. Okay, and then, um, so we can click this and, and, and get the choice to automatically create lids. Uh, I'm gonna say no to that for now. Uh, and instead, uh, let's do a flow simulation, uh, tools, check geometry. This is what I recommend you do on every single project you have. Um, now we could go straight to leak, leak tracking. Um, I'm going to take you to check geometry first just because I, I'm going to advise everybody do this. And on an internal project when we run a check um, we should see down here at the bottom a, a non-zero fluid volume. Now you can see that we've got this message as it says it's failed uh, and that's because there is an opening somewhere. Now we're not sure where this opening is yet, um, and it's actually down here. But let me um, illustrate how this uh, lid uh, leak detection works. So uh, we go to uh, this guy, which is open leak tracking. Okay, and we need to specify first a start face and then an end face. And ideally, in an assembly, these are going to be on the same component. And uh, the start face uh, and the end face, uh, one needs to be an external face, one needs to be an internal face. So I'll do my select other here and get the inside face on this side. Okay, and now I'm going to say find connection. Okay, so what's going on here? Uh, you can see this red line is it's trying to trace um, a path between the start face in the end face and if there's an opening um, somewhere you know the red line is going to cross uh, that opening at some point so what you do is you kind of highlight these faces and it will show you uh, areas the red line is crossing and, and eventually if there is an opening you're going to see something like this okay and then that may hopefully become apparent um, if you only have one of these, we'd simply, you know, create a lid, and away we go now. Um, in complex geometry, you may have several of these, right? So, so this is a leak detection tool. It's a useful tool. Um, it's a little more um, of an algorithm on, on finding these problem openings that you may not know that are there. So my name is Tim Roberts. Thanks for watching this quick tip video. Have a good day.